Near-surface geophysics focuses on how the environment and human activity interact on and just below the surface of the Earth. Depending on the nature of the interaction, near-surface geophysicists may work on Earth materials right at the ground surface or down to a few hundred meters. This interval is known as the critical zone. The critical zone is where atmospheric gases are transformed into plant material. It's where those plants generate the oxygen that we breathe and the food that we eat. And it's where rainwater filters through soil and bedrock to become groundwater we will later drink. This is where our modern societies interact in dozens of ways with key components of Earth's environment. No wonder scientists have labeled it the critical zone. However, while we are dependent on the critical zone to support life, it is increasingly under threat from disruptions in the natural environment resulting from changing land use patterns, extreme climate events, water pollution, and an expanding infrastructure to support growing cities. We seek to address these threats using non-invasive methods that will minimize the potential for further harm to the critical zone. That's where geophysicists come in. Geophysicists work to understand the influence of human activities on the critical zone without disturbing the local environment or infrastructure. The geophysicist toolkit may include devices that collect seismic, radar, gravity, magnetic, and electrical resistivity data to investigate the characteristics of the near-surface environment. Their tools scan the properties of rocks and soil near the Earth's surface at a variety of scales. Airborne geophysical tools can assess hundreds of square kilometers of land surface. Ships and boats can assess data along kilometers of coastal areas or lakes. Land vehicles and hand tools can scan meters of data in busy cities where the task requires more detail. For example, detailed geophysical survey techniques like ground penetrating radar, or GPR, can rapidly collect data to locate buried utilities and possible damaged sections of gas or power lines, water or sewage pipes. GPR can help locate other objects like tree roots that may interfere with buried pipes or can map sinkholes to better assess the risk to nearby structures. Near-surface geophysics can also be used to study human impacts on water quality through the use of electrical resistivity measurements. Resistivity represents the ability of water to resist an electrical current and is directly related to the amount of dissolved salts in the water. Water with dissolved minerals may be unsafe to drink and result in degraded aquatic ecosystems. Geophysicists can use resistivity measurements to monitor the potential groundwater contamination from landfill leachate or to investigate water quality in lakes, rivers, and tidal estuaries. In coastal regions, electrical resistivity can clearly delineate saltwater intrusion from freshwater in the critical zone. For example, this image shows a lens of freshwater and green above a saltwater intrusion at depth. Contaminant management is especially critical for people in communities who lack access to clean water, either from natural sources or reliable municipal water systems. Near-surface geophysicists can serve as allies in these efforts to promote environmental justice. Elsewhere, these scientists may work with humanitarian organizations like Geoscientists Without Borders to identify locations for wells that provide a source for clean drinking water. Geophysicists may collaborate with anthropologists, archaeologists, and historians to understand human history and evidence of past human civilization. Near-surface geophysical surveying with instruments such as GPR and magnetometers can detect subtle features and artifacts buried just below the surface. Geophysicists aim to work ethically and responsibly within their teams of investigators and in close collaboration with associated communities, local authorities, and tribal leaders. Near-surface geophysicists have the opportunity to work on many different types of modern challenges and humanitarian efforts such as the cleanup of hazardous waste sites, the discovery of buried explosive devices, and the identification of clean water supplies. This important work will help us to ensure the sustainability of our natural environment and provide safe water, food, and shelter.